I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. But I am God's dirt. Blessed and most merciful, honey, Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the word, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you've given me to speak. And I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I uh, want to remind everybody that here recently, it's been brought to my attention that uh, Satan has has absolutely just run amok in the in the world he's he's attacking everybody he's been attacking me he's been attacking mike and gail he's been attacking everybody we know too, yeah. and he's been attacking christians yeah. especially hard and but right now right now we, all there is is jesus that's all there is there is no plan b it's either heaven or hell so we have to stand strong in the faith we have to stand strong in the faith and put our full faith and our trust in Jesus Christ. Because there, there is nothing else. There is nothing else. But we need to pray. Pray without ceasing. And be watching for his glorious appearing. Because he's coming soon. He's coming soon to take us away. Take us home. So we pray for all of you. That you stay strong in the faith. And I want to remind everybody. That, that the things are happening in the world. I mean. Uh, I know years ago. You know people would talk about that that it seemed like time was speeding up but now now time has sped up to, to such a point that it, it seems like it's a blur it, it seems like i'm setting the trash out like every other day now i mean it's just things are, are just are just are happening so fast so fast you know they're talking about putting more chemicals in in our foods they're talking about uh, putting hek 293 in in more things they're talking about putting, uh, I can't mention the word, uh, they're talking about putting that in our, in our cattle, in the cattle, and in, in the pigs, so that way it's going to be in all your beef, and all your pork, and this is supposed to be starting by the end of this month, so uh, that's why I've been reminding people, I've been, t I've been saying it for years, pray over your food, pray over your food, say the blessing over your food. And don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed of his testimony. Because we are commanded. We are commanded to love, forgive, and pray for our enemies. So we need to spread the gospel. Time is short. Time is oh so short. And we need to be in, in the will and grace. We need to be pleasing to God. Because there is nothing else. There is nothing else. I want to read you some scripture just one verse and this is for those people that think that feel like fence setters and lukewarm that think oh well if i miss the rapture i'll just i'll just stick around uh revelation chapter 20 verse 4 and i saw thrones and they set upon them and judgment was given to them and i saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years there's gonna be a price to pay if we're if you're not raptured there's gonna be a price to pay that's why we've been begging people that's why I've been warning people of, of the tribulation all the horrors that's coming in the tribulation because it's going to be horror multiplied by horror. It's just going to be unspeakable, unfathomable, unbelievable horrors are coming in the tribulation. And then if you're trying to live for Jesus Christ, you, you can't take the mark of the beast. You can't worship the beast. You can't, you can't uh, worship his number. You can't worship his image. And you cannot deny Jesus either. You have to be, if you're not being faithful now, you'll absolutely have to be faithful in the tribulation to make it. And then on top of that, you, you will be beheaded. You will be beheaded for your faith and your testimony in Jesus Christ. So it's much easier to live for Christ now than to try to live for Jesus in the tribulation. So if you can't make it now, odds are you won't make it in the tribulation either. But that's not our choice. That's not our decision. And we're not the judge. But we pray for all of you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen.
I wanted to uh, add this on to this video. Uh, I want to remind everybody that the uh, AzusaStreet.com website, uh, it will be closing down at the end of uh, May, sometime in May. Uh, and the reason it's closing down is I can't afford it anymore. Uh, and there's going to be some other changes. But what I will be doing is at, at, on the TonyLamb.org website, uh, I will have a, a link in there in that website uh, to the Azusa Street website, which I will add on to the uh, Tony Lamb website. Uh, so what I'm saying is that in effect, uh, there will be no more AzusaStreet.com website. You'll have to go to the Tony Lamb website and then click a link to get to the Azusa Street website. Uh, and uh, and there's going to be some other changes also. Um, these are the last days. And the Holy Spirit did tell me that right before we went home that he would wind everything down. Especially for this ministry. So I see this as a great winding down. And I see this also as a reminder of just how close we are to going home. And also I want to ask people to pray for the people that's affected by all the rain in, in Florida, especially around the Fort Lauderdale area. Keep them in our, in our prayers. God bless you. God be with each and every one of you. We keep all of you in our prayers. Amen.